day three, good morning. So, it was really cold last night. Very lucky I had my sleeping bag. I was snuggled up inside. But, I just, you can't wait to get a, a warm shower and a hot cup of tea and some warm food in you. Um, Saying this morning, I just couldn't wait to get some oatmeal with banana and apple and a hot cup of ginger tea before I set off. It's freezing cold. I'm not dressed like I'm freezing cold. But when you're hiking, you've got to wear something thin because you start sweating and you warm up pretty pretty soon because of the walking. Um, so I had my breakfast, had a cup of tea, and now I'm heading out. Next destination, Charme. Bye guys. Oh, another thing, I washed my clothes yesterday because it was starting to smell a bad idea. Up here, it's so cold, your clothes just don't dry. So now I've got all my clothes hanging on my backpack, trying to dry throughout the day while I'm walking. Otherwise, I'll have no dry socks continue the trip it'll just slow me down and my mother said she watched a YouTube video about a guy who did this and he advised do not wash your clothes because it's a waste of time and it'll just hold you back rather stink than not get not carry on on your trip and get held back so no clothes washing for me from now on I will just have to stink. <laughs> anyway, I didn't come up here for a rumpy pumpy. Hey, Denise. <laughs> Bye. I want you to have a listen to something. How totally silent it is. Wait. So quiet, man. Peace. Now that's a long bridge, isn't it? Long wobble bridge. Not alone today. Have a look. Wow, you see that? Whew. Awesome. Look how beautiful that is there. Da da da. So nice. Onwards. So I've just been told that, don't know whether you can see it. 
I'll switch the camera around. That there is Annapurna 1, the peak. So I've got to go through this way. I don't know if you can see from here, guys. There's a woman walking there. She is 59 years old. And she's keeping up with me. Actually, I mean, she's ahead, but she's walking the road treks. I'm doing the off road treks, which are a little bit longer and a little bit harder. But she's still doing it at 59 years old. Blows my mind. Look at her down, down there. Oh. Yeah. Onwards and upwards. Can you wait there one second? Just under. There we go. Can you check? So. Uh, I think I've made it to Chami. Um, hopefully there's a bank here so I can get some money out. Check it out. <laughs> so this thing is a prayer wheel. Supposed to walk around it. Holding it, I'll show you. They go inside here. And they hold on to this. Well, pretty. Oh my god, it's really, really heavy. And you just walk around. I'm not sure why. Oh, it, it rang a bell. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so I've stopped in this little hotel place, it was supposed to be a bank. Um, they said they accept visa cards, so maybe I'll be able to get some money out. Hopefully, because I'm running low, and there's no ATM machines in the mountains, so if I don't, I'm screwed. I have to be really careful with my money. Uh, and I don't want to be that careful. It's getting more and more expensive the more we go up the mountains, so really need to take some money out. Cross fingers. Well, Looks like I'm not having any luck because they said there's no electricity. They said I should wait an hour. I don't want to wait another hour because I need to continue walking. It's just an hour wasted. I mean, it's not wasted, I take money out, but I just want to continue walking. I don't want to stop. They said there's no electricity, and it's compulsory to have the electricity for the swiping of the card. Well, bad luck, Dave. Thank God. I see a backpacker and a building. I think I'm arriving to the next town. I'm really happy about it. It's getting cold. So, 
This is the entrance to Bratang. I'm gonna take a lunch break. Beautiful, man. Just a little bit more of a walk. I guess I've made it. Break time. No, so no real food here. Just donuts and tea. Which is good. But no real food. Coffee. This is like a little village where they all grow apples. But I saw thousands of them, so this is obviously how they make their money around here, nothing else. Because there was no restaurant selling any other food other than apple pie, apple donuts. The chocolate on or just fresh apples so I've started walking again um, but I took my shoes off when I was at, when I was resting at that apple place this entire place is made of apples I don't know if you can see behind me there They've, uh, they they grow apples here. Anyway, so I took my boots off and my heel, the blister that I had, I thought it was healing. And I, I just, I put some fresh plaster over it today, but it must have come off while I was walking. And I just looked at it and it was just, ooh, it's just getting worse. I'll show you later on when I get to the next town. If I make it, <laughs> ah, took another anti-inflammatory to kill the pain, and need to try and get it to Manang because in Manang, um, I have to stay there two days anyway to acclimatise. So it would be a pretty good day, uh, pretty good time, sorry, to take a break try and get my blister healed. Problem is, I'll stay at this next town tonight and the next morning, tomorrow morning, I have to go to Opepisang, which is, is a really hard trek they say, but it's very, very beautiful. But it's really up, uphill like steep and with my blister I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to try everything possible in the morning to wrap it up in a specific way that it will just protect it through the entire journey we'll see anyway plodding on This next bit looks pretty cool. Take a look at the the path ahead. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. See that little broken bridge? Happy to be not to not be alone. There's some backpackers ahead. 
Makes me feel better. Check them out. Taking pictures? Man, this is a really steep climb. Getting out of breath. My legs are killing me. Stop complaining, Dev. That's what my mum would say. Stop being a pussy. <laughs> Sorry, mother. Should be saying, come, well, well, if you're in pain, you can come back down then. Come back down. You don't have to go all the way up there, you know, it's dangerous. Just get your ass back on safe ground. You're not friggin' Indiana Jones, Dave. I'm not, but I did like him a lot. And I always wanted to be like Indiana Jones. Just in my own little way. Oh, God. Well, I think I kind of made it up one part. And I think I'm slowly entering another town. It's cute. So I was just at a really nice little restaurant. They even had a fireplace. They said they put it on in the night. And I was like, oh, fireplace. That would be so nice. And, but then someone told me that Pisang is just an hour away. And that is the main place that I was targeting. Because tomorrow morning, I'm supposed to be doing Upper Pisang, which is a really hard trek that's like really climbing it in altitude, high altitude, but they said it's a, it's a tough climb, but worth it if it's good weather. <laughs> the weather's kind of shit now, so if, if tomorrow the weather's bad, but I'm guessing it won't be in the morning. It's always nice in the morning in the mountains. So I'll probably end up going on up a Pisang and then just I guess, figuring it out along the way. But my blisters, I have a huge blister on my right foot, on the back heel. And some nice people just give me some blister pads. I'm gonna try and put them on tomorrow, before hiking. Tonight, I'm just gonna get somewhere, take a hot shower, take my socks and shoes off and try to let, peel the, uh, I'll, peel the dead skin off that's peeling off and then just relax it's been a tough one today quite a uphill uh, tomorrow it's supposed to be worse oh sees in a bit uh. Hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, me too, don't worry. So, finally arrived to Pisang. So another eight, eight and a half, maybe nine hours. I walk today again. Have a look at these blisters. There's one on me heel. That's just not getting any better. That's massive. Just wrapping it up in bond bandage. Mm -hmm. 
big one. Well, guys, so I'm in my cabin now. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna relax a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in the restaurant and warm up and put my feet next to the fire and just uh, try and dry out my blisters and uh, have a chat with the girls. Good night.